I'm still interested in knowing what's the difference between what you offer by way of intervention and what the commercial banks offer. Uh, basically, the commercial banks, uh, uh, they render services like current account, yeah. uh, savings account for businesses and for individuals. True. And uh, they also serve as uh, <clears throat> financial mediators. Yeah. Uh, they, they intermediate in the financial system to ensure that where there is shortfall of fund, they are bridging it with, with where you have excess uh, mm -hmm. fund. So they are taking well, from those that have... In terms of how it relates to businesses, because that's what this program is all about. Okay. We do know that commercial banks have loan facilities for businesses. Uh, all the times they call them. I don't want us to go too technical. Um, what's the difference between what commercial banks do by way of loan, disbursements, interventions, funding, investments for MSMEs and large-scale industries, as it were, vis-a-vis -vis what the Bank of Industry does? Um, I would say there are a lot of similarity between what the Bank of Industry as a DFI is doing and what the commercial bank is doing. Okay. I think the area of difference will be in the, uh, the pricing of our loan and in terms of the tenor of the loan. Okay. Uh, for pricing, we offer, I would say, the lowest in the country as we speak. Uh, Bank of Industry traditional uh, interest rate is 10%. Mm. So 10% per annum, that gives you less than uh, 1% per month. Okay. Whereas commercial banks, uh, depending on the category of their customer, they can do between 18 to 30 uh, percent. Okay. And in terms of tenure, we can go as long as five years. Whereas traditionally, they do short term. Okay. because of the kind of fund that they also manage. Yeah. They manage short-term fund. Uh, it is your deposit and my deposit in the bank that they have to use to unlend. Mm -hmm. So when they use short... And investors can be a bit impatient. Yes, when you put money tomorrow, you can go back and you want to withdraw. So they are very careful in terms of the way they structure their loans. So uh, in layman terms, the duration of the loan... Duration and the As price. well as the interest... Yes. Payable on yes. the loan. Yes, but, uh, it, but uh, another angle to it is that uh, uh, Bank of Industry is more selective. Okay. Uh, we are a development finance institution. It therefore means that the our orientation is quite different. Okay. Uh, we are looking at what will ultimately be of benefit to the nation, the economy of the nation as a whole. So yeah. it's not just any business. It's not just any business. So because for the commercial banks, as long as you have strong as collaterals, you have strong collaterals. Or the business can, is highly this promising. This can make money. You can fund. But okay. for Bank of Industry, we are looking at the economic analysis of this venture that you want to you want us to participate in. Uh, what do I mean by economic analysis? There mm. are some business that can be financially viable, yeah. but not economically desirable. Wow. Yes, because you are making new. you are making money as an entity. You are making money. <clears throat> but you're actually, <clears throat> excuse me, okay. you're actually bleeding the, the economy. Wow. Yeah, you are either exporting our jobs to uh, other uh, countries mm -hmm. or you are depleting our foreign reserves. Wow. You, are export, you are importing things here. So Bank of Industry will look for investment that are utilizing our local resources. So that becomes a catch for us. We want so to so see it's from the context of economic health and well-being. Yes. So we look at it from all the stakeholders in that business. For example, if you set up a plant and we know that the environmental impact of your plant is going is, is negative, yeah. even if you are going to make money or you can pay our loan in less than one year, we will not finance it wow. because of the environmental impact. So for most of our loan, we normally encourage our customers to do a detailed environmental impact assessment, assessment report. We want to be sure that you have taken care of every stakeholder in business. So we have a different orientation to the kind of um, entrepreneurs that we support. In my own language, I call them lovepreneurs. Lovepreneurs. <clears throat> lovepreneurs. Because How do you mean? A business, they are not just their unusual kind of businessmen. A businessman have so many stakeholders. The first in is, if you look at the <clears throat> 
the profit and loss account. Yeah. You, you'll be able to dissect and know the category of uh, stakeholders in a business. The first line is the revenue line. Revenue the revenue line. line meaning that you are offering a value service to customers. Mm. Because if you don't offer value service to customers, they won't patronize you. True. So your first stakeholder is your customers. Then for you to offer that value service or product, you need raw materials. So True. that exposes another line. level of your stakeholders, your suppliers. That means as a business, while you are serving your customers, you are guaranteeing market for suppliers. And that keeps their own business healthy. That keeps their own business. So you are already healthy. seeing the impact one single business is making. Then come to the overhead, because if you have revenue, you have cost of goods sold, then you have gross profit, then the other is your overhead yeah. expenses. Yeah. So you are going to take care of your, your workers, you are taking care of your, of your, um, of, of your facility yeah. and all that. Your workers, maintenance. Yes, maintenance, all those are other stakeholders. Your and then the regulatory bodies are also the bodies being are nourished and nurtured yes. by your activities. Then you are going to be paying taxes. Um, let's say interest first. That means somebody must have put their money in your business. Mm. Uh, so so equity, your creditors are your stakeholders. True. Like us as a bank, that is where we come in. You must satisfy our interest. Then you have even um, the task. You talk about tasks. Yeah, that tasks. is the government. Yeah. You are taking care of government. So you can see from one. You are taking care of the society through the government you taxation are through the government. And structure. Some other companies also have CSRO to, for the for the environment True. where they operate, True. so that they can have a good relationship with their with the yes. community. Yes. Then you now talk of profit. Yeah. Some profit is not all profit that the businessman take away from the business. You must plow back profit to the business. They True. call it retain earnings. That means you're also saving the interest of the business. Then before you now have dividend. Dividend is what the shareholders take home. So when you gather your profit <laughs> together, there's a percentage you then plow back you into plow the back. business. Because this is the engine that is making all the money. You must take care of the engine. So once, that is why in... And sometimes you put money into research and development, that is it. which is another sector, sector that you may be funding. And sometimes you also put money into the communal system. Maybe you have a stakeholder yeah. entrepreneurship thing. And sometimes you may just want to go and develop a particular physical infrastructural development mm -hmm. of the zone in which your factory is sited. Yeah. So, you've so you see, my at the eyes. end of the day, that is why what goes to the entrepreneur or the person I call the lovepreneur is what they call bottom line. Mm. He takes the one at the bottom. He would have satisfied all stakeholders before he takes the one at the bottom. So we don't satisfy or we don't support people who are trying to satisfy themselves first.